Any <laughs> company that advertises, we have bought from. Yeah. I would say if you've seen an ad, we have tested their service. Just like everyone out there who has tested them and be like, this is bullshit. That's pretty much what we found out too. But we mm-hmm. still do it because we want to know if someone comes to us and goes, hey, I bought from topplaylist.com. I'm making something up. I don't want, but I bought from topplaylist.com. What do you think of them? If we've tested them, we can say, hey, yeah, no, they, they were legit. Mm-hmm. That's cool. Like we're not going to tell you not to, but at the same point, we also know we have bought fake streams at this point. We would expect our songs to be affected. They're not. If what they're, they're listening, saying, right, right. They might go find them and try to figure out, but largely I haven't heard of a, a single CD baby song. I haven't heard of a single person in United Masters who's doing a 10% split. We don't have anyone on Songflower and we don't even take a split. Mm-hmm. Um, or a subscription. Or a subscription, yeah. But if a song comes down, TuneCore is making less money because it's per song, per album, per year. So that would even negatively affect them. So the choice of taking songs down from the two distributors that offer subscriptions with unlimited uploads seems odd. It doesn't seem probable. We still haven't heard of anything. It's been 15 days since the first takedown. Nothing else has happened. Now, this could become a quarterly thing. Every March, they could purge again from just those. You'd think they would expand. I expect them to expand. But if they're trying to keep their distributors happy too, how far do they expand? The thing is, is the next point, okay, I'm Spotify. What do I care if the distributors are happy with me? I have all the leverage in the world. I'm Spotify. They need to be happy with me. What if I say, no, you keep giving me, I'm Spotify. You keep giving me all this bunch of shit. I'm not going to let you put any music on our platform. What do you think distribution company XYZ is going to say? No, we're going to fight well, you on it. Yeah. So, if you think about it, the artist wants to be on Spotify. So the distribution company has to offer it. Um, we Spotify could raise how much it costs. They could co- They could make it cost us more money to put music on there. If they find that XYZ, I don't know. <laughs> well, all I'm saying is like, if I'm sp- okay, like why would I spend time or energy trying to keep my, these distributors happy me in the sense of, okay, only distro kid and United masters have been impacted. So if I'm looking to get rid of these songs, what do I care? Which distributor they're coming from? I'm not getting 9% of this money. I'm Spotify. I'm not getting 10%. What do I care if they're violating the terms that the distributor agreed to? It makes no sense for Spotify to say, you know what? We're, we're going to make this decision to only go here and take this bucket of songs. And that doesn't make sense. Yeah, It doesn't make any sense. Why, if I'm Spotify, why would I do that? Yeah, you, I agree. It doesn't make sense. And that's why it's it doesn't weird. Make any Those sense. are the songs that have been targeted. And that's why I agree. It doesn't make sense at Spotify. Because if you think about it too, Spotify would have to reach out to these people and the companies and ask. Because it's not like Spotify knows how people are paying us. Right. How does Spotify yeah. know how people are paying United Masters? It doesn't make sense. Great, great point. Yeah, Spotify doesn't know this. Spotify has the- no clue what subscription you're on for United Masters. So you would think if they were just grabbing songs, it would hit everyone. It would be an even split on United Masters, especially because United Masters, it's more popular to do 10%. It's been around longer. $60 right. a year just started a few months ago. So like, it's way more popular to give up 10%. And I haven't heard of anyone giving up 10% whose songs were affected. I haven't heard. I think the biggest things, I haven't heard of anyone CD Baby. Not one person. Maybe the biggest, most popular now in terms of volume, but CD Baby is probably the oldest. Mm. It's been around forever and does what it does. And I haven't heard anyone there.